Okay, let's get started with our restriction digest. Now, if you were doing this lab at school, you'd follow a protocol, which is a specific set of instructions for different lab procedures. Instead, we'll share some short videos and images to help you get a sense of what needs to be done for each step. Before we head to the video, let's do a quick review from the lesson slides. Each of these tubes has DNA in them. The comparison sample is the DNA we got from the hair and saliva left in the Takis bag. This tube is labeled CS. Sample 1 has Paul's DNA and is labeled S1. Sample 2 is Devante's DNA, it's S2. And sample 3 contains Lucia's DNA, labeled S3. This is our control and is DNA that will not be cut by the restriction enzyme. It is uncut DNA, labeled U. When we join the video, we're halfway through step 4 in the protocol. We have the DNA in each tube. Then we've already added 6 microliters of buffer to each tube. The buffer helps the restriction enzyme cut DNA. You'll be watching the last two parts, adding the water and the restriction enzyme. Okay, so hopefully these labels look familiar to you. These are the ones that we just discussed. Let's get started picking up where we left off in step four. You're going to set your micropipette to six microliters. Add a fresh tip. And we're going to add water to the uncut DNA. The uncut DNA does not get any restriction enzyme. So think about that later on when you're looking at your results. What happens to uncut DNA when we run it on the gel? Next, we're ready to add our restriction enzyme to our DNA samples. We'll begin with the comparison sample DNA. Now you'll remember that this is the DNA that we got from the saliva and the hair found in the Takis bag. We'll make sure that we change our tip so we don't want to mix up our next DNA sample and we'll continue adding our restriction enzymes to our remaining sample. Sample one, Paul's DNA. Sample two, Devante's DNA. And the last sample is sample three, Lucia's DNA. That's it, our restriction digests are set up and now we're ready for the next part of the lab. We want to make sure that everything we put into the restriction digest is at the bottom of each tube. So we're gonna use a machine called a Minifuge. It's a mini version of something you may have used called a centrifuge. When we close the lid, the tubes begin spinning very quickly. It sounds a little like this. Once the spin is done, we have everything in the bottom of each tube. Then we'll place our samples in a styrofoam floaty for the last step of the restriction digest, which is simply to place your samples in a 37 degrees Celsius water bath for at least 10 minutes. 